You are now watching Dragon Ball Fighter. Hey, what's up, my Space Cowboys? It's Jude here, and today I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the Dragon Ball mechanic or the, the Shenron system, as they're calling it in game, um, and how it works. Because Bandai Namco did release a statement, or rather a Twitter tweet, um, in regards to how exactly it works and what your options are. So, if you guys aren't aware of what they are, let me go ahead and just give you the information that's presented. Um, introducing the Dragon Ball Fighters Shenron system, players who string a specific number of combos during battle will collect Dragon Balls on screen. Once all the Dragon Balls have been collected, Shenron will appear and grant the player one of four wishes. Now, your, your options are, the first one is, restore my health. Restore your characters to its full health. Wow, that's actually a, uh, that's actually a, a very strong, um, wish right there. Because if you're down on health and you, and you need, and it's getting down to, to crunch time, to be able to wish for all your health to be back is actually a, a big thing. Um, the second option is bring back my, my ally, which revives your lost ally to 50% health. Now, this is also a very big thing. Because 50% health is actually a lot of health, especially for a character that's already dead. So you're pretty much killing a character, uh, a character again, which is actually, once again, like a very strong option in competitive play. It can really take a, a dire situation and turn it into where you have the advantage. But moving on past that, the third option is give me the ultimate power. And what this does is boost your key gauge to max. Now... I'm not too sure how effective this will be. Um, maybe if you're maybe if you're Gohan and you wanted to unleash your potential at seven bars, I can understand that. But the game kind of you build you build meter pretty fast in this game. There's there's seven bars and there's a lot of the time where you're going to be filling it up as soon as you're wasted. So I'm not sure if people will find that one too useful. Uh, the fourth and final option is make me immortal. Health will be will be restored 50% in auto restoration for energy gauge. Wow. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is gonna last the entire match, but pretty much what they're saying is you'll have 50% of your health restored, and then um, I guess throughout the battle, your energy gauge, or I'm gonna assume this is the key gauge, your energy gauge, key gauge, whichever they want to call it, will be auto filled or will auto restore as you play the game. So that's actually very strong. I'm not sure which I would consider the best. I think it really depends on the situation that you're in. Sometimes, you know, restoring your health to max may be better than restoring a uh, a fallen ally. Maybe that ally wasn't too big of a player on your team. Um, the key gauge thing, like, I really don't know if this is going to be a big thing. Simply because you gain meter so fast. But then again, maybe if you're using Gohan or maybe if you have a character that's heavily reliant on on um, the key you may find it more useful than others and then like I said this is very strong the immortal restore your your health to 50 uh, or restore your health by 50% and then auto restore your energy gauge that's honestly to me that might that might honestly be the best one but really it depends on the situations that you're in you may not have uh, a character that's gone so you don't need to revive your ally. You'd rather just restore your health or get more energy or just res or just or just have auto auto feel energy for the rest of the match. But that's just my impressions on it, guys. That's it for today. Go ahead and leave a like on the video and let me know what you guys think about the actual me Dragon Ball mechanic. Me myself, I feel it's a little bit random. Um, honestly, I'm not. We're not too 100% sure on the mechanics in regards to how it is in. Uh, the best way I can I can say is, does each character get their own set of Dragon Balls, or are the Dragon Balls tied together? Actually, I do know the Dragon Balls are tied together. You share Dragon Balls, and to me, I feel like that's a problem simply because in competitive play, when you have two players racing for only one of them to get, it just completely unbalances the the, the system. I'll be honest. I really hope that this is an option that can be turned on and off because I can definitely see this as being fun it's, to me it's similar to in Smash Brothers when you have items on items really grant whoever gets to the item first a huge advantage and this is similar whoever gets to the Dragon Balls 
are going to have a huge advantage on their opponent. When the option isn't available for both players, especially in a when you're trying to balance a fighting game, that completely unbalances it. But that's just my opinion. Hopefully, there is an on and off uh, feature. I guess we'll see uh, towards release. But let me know what you guys think about the mechanic. Are you are you for the mechanic? Do you want it to be turned on or off, or would you prefer it just be on all the time, even on online rank matches and and tournament play when this game does hit the tournament scene? That's it for today guys, I'm Jude, make sure you hit the, the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up with my content, and until next time guys, hey. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, until next time, see you later.